Setting saddle height correctly is really important for efficient pedaling, but also for avoiding any discomfort. What we're looking at setting is actually the maximum height or the height you want it for prolonged pedaling. Many people like myself use dropper posts nowadays or even just a quick release to drop that post for maybe steep downhills, but you still want to set your maximum height. Firstly, you want to set the angle of your saddle. I would say flat suits most people. To set the level of your saddle, what you normally have is two pinch bolts. That's the most common way of doing it. And what you want to do, say if I want to nose this saddle down a little bit, I back off the tension on the rear bolt and then tighten up the front one a little bit until you find that level and then make sure that both bolts are then torqued up nice and tight. Also, you can look at that fore and aft adjustment with your saddle on the rails in the post. Uh, it is down to personal preference. Sometimes it's a bit weird, I think, if it feels like you're sat and you're pedaling almost behind the bottom bracket. So play around with that, it's dead easy just to un undo these bolts a little bit and slide the saddle up and down a little bit in those rails. I would say start with it somewhere in the middle first. There are a few more complicated ways of setting your saddle height, but I find just trying it, obviously with an Allen key, moving up and down and finding that spot just by pedaling the bike is probably the easiest way of doing it. What you want to do is set that saddle so that when you're sat on the bike, with it at the highest point, you can just about get your heel on that pedal with your leg absolutely straight. That means that when you put your foot in the right position on the pedal, you should still have a slight bend in your knee when your cranks are right at the bottom. If you're any taller than that, what will happen is your legs will lock out when you're pedaling and your hips will rock side to side on the saddle. That's a big thing to avoid. That can cause real discomfort on the saddle. Here you can see my saddle is too high. My legs are locking out. They're going absolutely straight. But more importantly, you can see my hips rocking side to side on the saddle. That's going to be really uncomfortable and can cause injury if you ride like that all the time. Here you can see my saddle is too low. My knees are still really bent when I'm pedaling. This isn't going to be an efficient way of pedaling, but this can also cause injuries because you're putting a lot of pressure through your knees when you're pedaling hard. Here I've got a T25 bolt to tighten up my seat post. Obviously then I've got the dropper post to then go up and down. Some bikes have quick releases that you can just undo and move your saddle around. In that case, what I would do is put a slight mark in your seat post that you know where that maximum height is. Carbon post, maybe not, but on an alloy post, just put a tiny little mark in there. I see a lot of people with carbon posts, especially pros, use a tiny little bit of electrical tape just to mark that maximum height so that when you're messing around, you know exactly where to set it. So that's how to set your saddle height. It's worth remembering that to do that in the correct shoes. I'm riding in clips today and actually with that cleat on the bottom of your sole, I set my saddle slightly higher than I would do on flat pedals. Also, I would check for any discrepancies in, in one side to the next with leg length. So if you're dipping to one side, because that leg might be slightly shorter, I would set your saddle height for the shortest legs. So you don't ever extend too much. For more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our top 10 most common riding mistakes, or click down here for our maintenance playlist. Or just click on me and my bike to subscribe to the channel, GMBN. It's free. <laughs>